get hit with. What is up, everybody? Oh, what's going on, Chameleones? So Frank and Whitney from Geeky Gecko Creations here. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I was just trying to get the lighting all right and everything. Uh, today, we're going to show some of our geckos that we have listed on Morph Market for sale. Um, if you do need the Morph Market link, I'm going to provide it here. So happy Saturday, Frank the Tank. Happy Saturday, Chameleones. Uh, hope you guys are doing good. We are just relaxing on this Saturday. Uh, my wife is off from work. We're here in the gecko room, but you can't really call the gecko room work, right? I mean, it's like fun stuff. So I just wanted to show um, some cool geckos that we have available right now. Um, the new baby geckos are being laid right now. A lot of our geckos are producing eggs. Those eggs will be hatching over the next two months or so. So if you want like a baby, baby gecko, um, you know, come check us out two to three months from now and we will have some baby geckos. For now, if you're looking to get into breeding, I have a bunch of holdbacks, geckos that I wa was going to keep that um, I'm going to be releasing to create space for our new projects and everything. So we're going to show those geckos today. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to go in the morph market order so that anyone who goes on morph market can kind of like follow along. So if you go on morph market, we have um, five males for sale. We're going to do all of the males first. And let me know in the chat if you can hear volume or not. Um, and then we got Instagram as well. What's going on, John? How you doing? Steph, good to see you guys. Uh, today's goal is we're just going to show some geckos that we have available. So anyone who wants a gecko potentially can kind of see a little bit more about it. Uh, so let's do this here. I'm gonna move you guys on YouTube to right about this location where there's a little bit better lighting. Our cat says hi. And true cat nature, she is just involved in everything. Uh, so let's see if we can see this here. Um, so yeah, Hun, if you can control the Instagram and centralize it, I'll control this and centralize it. Uh, so this is an adult male Tremper albino leopard gecko that we have for sale right now. He is about five years old and he has a paradox spot on the tip of his nose. If you could see that paradox spot right there. Um, if you've seen any of my videos in the past about what a paradox spot is, it's basically an anomaly. It's something that can't be explained and it's something that can't necessarily be replicated. I wanted to hold this guy back because I have a female daughter of his from last year that I was gonna breed to uh, him to her to see if we can replicate that paradox spot. Um, but because of all the other projects that I have going on right now, um, I didn't see that as a project that was the best for me to carry on time-wise and everything since I have to choose where I spend my time and resources. So if somebody else wants to work that Paradox project, they absolutely can. Um, we have this guy listed right now for $150 on Morph Market. Uh, so usually the way it works is you can get reptiles shipped to you. We do a standard flat shipping charge of $50 uh, for each reptile. So it would be uh, $150 plus $50 to have him shipped to you. Um, anybody watching this stream, I will give 10% uh, off if you wanted to, to purchase a gecko just for tuning in and watching the stream. So this is our mail right here on Morph Market. He's listed as Tremper Paradox Tangerine. So he's pretty cool. We'll put him away and let's get some of the other males that we are selling. All right. So excuse the delay here between getting everybody out. 
but this is a nice normal looking male that we have here. Uh, he's pretty cool actually. I mean, I really like the amount of spots that he has on him, like the amount of dots that he has. That wild type pattern is pretty cool. Um, let me see if I have something to make that taller. Taller. Like that, the angle of the camera. A book or something? Yeah, maybe. Let me see, guys. I want to get a little bit better shot here. Let's see if this winds up. Oh, no, because it's always, the angle is always going to be up no matter what. So, okay. Well, I'll just try to kind of like, shoot him a little bit and stuff but so this is one of our uh, leopard geckos that we hatched out this year as well um, they grow pretty fast as you can see so if you're looking to get into leopard geckos they grow fast and um, males are pretty much ready to breed within 10 months and uh, I'd have to look at the birth date oops I'd have to look at the birth date on this guy here let me see. Um, so we got a birth date on this guy of February. So February to March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Yeah, so this guy's 10 months old. Um, he's just about ready for breeding right now. He's a very nice, normal-looking gecko. He is 100% uh, heterozygous for Eclipse, and he is 100% um, – uh, sorry, let me think about this for a second. Yeah, he's 100% heterozygous for either bell albino or tremper albino. I haven't proved out his parents yet, so I do have to sell him as an up-in-the-air possibility. He could be bell albino. Um, his mom was sold to me as a bell albino. I just haven't proved her out to prove true that she is bell and not tremper. So therefore, you know, I don't want to set the expectation for anybody that he is bell for sure just because somebody told me that the the parrot was bell i want to make sure i prove that out so he's a really cool gecko nonetheless hundred dollars plus fifty dollars shipping so 150 bucks gets him to wherever you are in in the united states um chameleonis yeah we got some tegus the tegus are sleeping right now I looked at them yesterday. I checked on all of them. They're doing great. Um, they huffed and they puffed to let me know that they did not want to be disturbed in their hibernation. So when the springtime comes, we're going to show some really cool tegus and uh, even give a go at breeding tegus this year. All right, guys. So we're going to get into – and, Hunt, if you see any questions on there, just let me know, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to get into um, some higher end holdbacks. So here's a higher end holdback right here. Uh, let me go to Morph Market and see which one this is. This is our first one listed on Morph Market, Joey. So Joey has some very um, unique bloodline in him. And it's really hard to pick up like his green hues and colorations here, but he definitely has a lot of green hues to him in the mix of his orange hues. So that's why I called him emerine and tangerine because he comes from a dad that has a lot of green hues and a mom that is a pure, pure orange. And so he is a mix between like, um, a perfect mix between orange and green. So when you look at him in person, you can really see a lot of green coloration, deep deep orange carrot tail right there, um, as well as very nice overtone of orange. It doesn't show that great on camera. We're really getting washed out by the sun here. Um, let me see if I can take him into the... Nah, the sun, that's even worse. So we're going to shoot him over here. But yeah, he's very cool. You can see great temperament. Um, they lick, you know, they lick test everything. He's got a great carrot tail. 
Um, this guy was born again in February, so 10 months old, and he is ready to breed as well. Um, he is listed at $250 plus $50 shipping. So um, a lot of the tangerine geckos that you'll see on Morph Market, I try to go a reasonable price, like a fair price. Um, a lot of them I feel like are priced really high. And tangerine is a little bit of a higher line. So you're going to pay a little bit more for tangerine, especially adults. Um, but all of the ones that I'm showing you guys, I priced it at a price that I felt like was very fair and competitive and, and a little bit better uh, pricing than what was out there um, compared to the competition. So I like to try to give, you know, all of our customers a, a really good deal and opportunity. And um, so again, 10% off on anybody watching, but 250 plus $50 shipping. All right. So we're going to put him away. Um, all right, let's change gears here a little bit. So we're going to go over now to a bold white and yellow bloodline. I guess I could just take that out. So this guy's, ooh, this, this guy's nice. He's just got a bunch of different coloration going on. This is a white and yellow morph that came from a bold stripe mom. So as you can see, he didn't inherit the stripes of the bold, the boldness of his mom, but he definitely inherited the bold pattern. He kind of has a smiley face on the top of his head. Like if you look at it from a certain direction there, it looks like a smiley face. Um, and he has very nice like orange hues, green hues, and yellow hues. So again, he is a white and yellow genetic trait. Um, oh, he's got two smiley faces, one there and one there. That's pretty cool. Uh, this, this guy's a little bit younger, so he's going to take a little bit more time to grow up. Um, let me see his listed date of birth. Oh, whoops. Autumn, nice, babe. Can you watch him just for a second? Mm -hmm. Thanks, baby. So this guy's date of birth. So this is Jack. He's listed as Jack on Morph Market. A white and yellow. He's possible het for Tremper Albino. Uh, his parents didn't prove out... Um, you know, one of the parents didn't prove out Tremper albino. Um, actually, both parents didn't yet. So he's just a small possibility of Tremper albino. But I have him listed as white and yellow emerine, $150, $50 shipping, uh, born in April. So he's still a little bit young, but whatever 10 months is from April, he'll be ready to breed at that time. Really cool. Very contrasty, dynamic coloration. It's pretty, pretty nice. All right. So we're going to put him away. Get the next one underway here. All right, guys. So this is... The last male, let me see. I don't even know if we had this guy listed for sale. I might've just pulled him right now as a, a possible, possible gecko we might sell. One male, uh, two male, three male, four male. Okay, I think we do have this guy listed for sale. Yeah, we do. Okay, looking at this guy right now, I almost, I mean, I really, really want to keep this guy, but for the right price, I will let him go. He is a hold back of ours here. Um, man, the camera just really doesn't do him any justice, but he has some very deep oranges to him. Um, and if you want like more pictures or something, I can get you pictures on any of these, but 
He's got some very deep oranges to him. The same green coloration that um, his dad has. Deep orange coloration that his mom has. And um, his orange is so deep, it almost has like a, a red appearance in some areas. Nice carrot tail. Uh, he is 100% albino, tremper albino. And let's see if I could just hold him there. Yeah, so I honestly, I almost want to list him at $350, but I will keep him at the price that I have listed right now on Morph Market. He is $300 plus shipping. Um, again, it's just really hard to show his color, but if you want more in-depth pictures, I will get you more in-depth pictures. You just let me know. Male birthday was April again. So he will be ready for breeding uh, here in April, the May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. So he'll be ready for breeding in February, right around the time that a lot of females ovulate. So um, I'm going to put him away. And yeah, like I can look, I'm looking at it on camera versus looking at him in person. He is at least three shades of orange darker in person than he is on camera. Um, what do you think, hon? Like, mm -hmm. it doesn't show his yeah. orangeness at all, huh? Yeah. I think he's just getting washed out by the sunlight. Should we close the blinds? Yeah, I, I'm actually going to close the blinds and see if maybe that helps. I thought the sun would help, like the natural sun, but it appears to just be like washing it out. Uh, let's see. Let's see how that is. A little bit better, but not much. So it's a little better, guys, but not much. Um, I don't even know if it's better at all, honestly. <laughs> It's more focused and more clear, but it's not. It doesn't show the saturation. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, um, the pictures of these guys on Morph Market, I tried to get as good pictures as I could, um, but I can get you more pictures and just try to get you as close to the orange as possible of what they display. But um, again, my ultimate goal is your satisfaction. So the way that I describe a gecko to you is what I want you to see when you get it. And if it's not that way, then that doesn't make me happy because I, you know, my goal is, is to be hundred percent honest with you, transparent and get you a gecko that you're happy with uh, according to our agreement of your interpretation of what you're purchasing. And I can tell you, this guy is uh, very orange in person, reddish orange hues to him, green coloration and, uh, He'll make a nice breeder for February. So, just gonna open this back up. It's a little bit. I know it helps the Instagram camera if the light, the blinds are closed. Oh, really? Yeah. Then we will close the blinds. All right, guys, so now we have a bunch of females for sale right now, too. You have some very perfect specimens. I don't know much about gecko, but I like a lot. Thanks, Chameleones. All right, so let me look on Morph Market. And, guys, if I'm, I'm doing this episode right now um, for the geckos that we have for sale. But if you have questions on anything, just let me know. Um, Whitney is monitoring the Instagram questions. I'm monitoring the YouTube questions and we'll get those questions answered for you. But let me show the females we have for sale now. Um, this is one of our holdbacks that we had for sale. Uh, she's listed as um, tag number SS17. And again, this was a female that if nobody buys her, I'll be happy to keep her and uh, put her into 
the breeding collection here. She is very nice orange as well. How would you describe her orange, hun? Um, yeah, she's like a Cheeto. A Cheeto? Mm -hmm. Yeah. With um, purple, green lines and circles. And it's really hard to see, but she has a smiley face right there. Um, do you see what I'm talking about, hun? Mm -hmm. I, I. Yep. It's a smiley face that turns into a frown depending on which way she turns. If she turns to the right, it turns into a frown. If she turns to the left, it turns into a smile. So she, there's the eye, the other eye, and then a smile. So she's a really cool girl. Um, again, she has very similar contrast to the last one. For me to describe this to you in person, um, her hues are, are very tangerine. There is some green undertones. And uh, the grayish appearance on camera has a purplish hue to it in the sun. And obviously, she has a very decent carrot tail. You know, a question, when one comes out Black Knight? Yeah, so Black Knights, um, we will be producing Black Knight babies this year and, uh, you know, keeping some of them, selling some of them. But, um, yeah, they, w those will be coming out this year, Chameleones. They'll be up for sale. The price tag on, on the Black Knights is probably going to be anywhere from 1000 to 2000 depending on the deepness of the black, like the richness of the black. We might even have some specimens that are 500 to 1000 if um, – you know, they're, they're not completely black. The amount of black on a black night is what will set the price for them. If it's only like 50% black, then you're probably going to get it between 500 to 1,000. If it is like 75% or more, it's going to be um, 1,000 to 2,000-ish. So, uh, so again, this one is SS17. She was a, She was born in June. So she'll be ready to breed about May to, to June of next year. These leopard geckos are, are growing fast. They've been growing fast. Um, if you have any questions on them, let me know. All right, let's see the next one we have for sale, female-wise. Okay, female, female, female. So the next female we have is actually a really nice female, SS18. So the sibling of SS17. Again, guys, this is another holdback that is being released. So we can create space for our new projects here. Um, is she for sale? She looks so good. I don't know if uh, I wanted to list her for sale. <laughs> I think she's she's the one. Yeah, that's her. I have her listed, guys. I mean, grab her now if you want her because looking at her, um, what I deem as very valuable inside of this girl is the amount of green pigment that she has, she, you know? So let's see, on camera, on camera, you, it's really hard to see the green pigment, but um, gosh, I need to get a better way to shoot these. But um, she has a lot of green pigment within her mid back torso area. Um, and a lot of uh, deep orange. So she's a darker orange with the greener pigment. And she's, uh, I think she's, oh, she's 300. I thought she was 350 again. Um, but I got her listed at 300. If you like her, come scoop her up because I'm really thinking of keeping her. Um, she would make a perfect breeder to continue enhancing the, the green emerine lines that we have over here, as well as the tangerine lines. But I have her listed, so if you like her, then you can get her. Uh, SS018 is her ID number on Morph Market. And again, the list is in the chat. 
If you need to go to our morph market and see the list is in the chat. All the way at the top. Ooh. Thanks, Camilio. It's very nice comments. All right, so we got a few more females to go. All right, let's see here. Okay, so we're done with the tangerines. Now we're going to get into some of the bolds. So let's go with this girl right here. Let me find her location in the rack. Uh, she is SS014. Wait, SS014? Oh, SM014. I was going to say. All right. My apologies. I'm reorganizing this rack over here and my labeling system. Um, so that's why it took me a sec to find this one. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, yeah. Here is this girl. Um, her parents are a bold stripe and a tangerine. So if you're wondering what happens when you combine tangerine with like yellow, it kind of becomes whatever, you know, that in between color is. It becomes like a yellowish tangerine. You know, it just becomes a little bit darker yellow almost. She has a lot of dark spotting. That dark spotting is influenced from her mom. Caught her. And she did lose a small part of her tail when she was younger and grew it back. So it does have like a little, it does have like a little stub to it, like a little chunkiness to it at the end. Um, she has very nice, like green above her eyes. A little bit of a green hue in her from her, her dad. Her dad had some green hues to him. So I have her listed as a bold emerine and part tangerine leopard gecko. Uh, she's listed on the Morph Market page. She's a little bit flighty, as you can see, but nothing that, um, there's a smiley face on the back of her head there. Nothing that time can't help, you know, tame her down, a little bit of handling. So, again, her ID number is uh, SM014. Put her back. And who do we have next here? All right, we got her sibling, I do believe. All right, so this is her sibling, which is going to be uh, SM13. Very nice, bold patterning. You can really see a lot of that dark black. So if that's your goal, to create like a dark black, um, to have some dark black bold pattern, uh, she would be a very good addition. Again, this comes from a bold stripe line. So you could even see bold stripes down the sides of the gecko. And that's one of the reasons that these geckos are priced where they are is because, believe it or not, if you had a bold striped male and you bred a bold striped male to her, you could see a lot of her, a lot of her bold patterning already takes the form of a stripe, which means that for you to create bold striped babies, for you to create bold striped babies from her and a bold striped male, it would not take a lot of work. If you put a bold striped male with her, I would be fairly confident to say that half of their babies would have some decent striping on them, if not full striping. Um, 
And so she's pretty, she's pretty valuable for that sense. Another reason is because the striping that she does have is lower on her torso here. Usually the striping occurs a little bit higher. So if you bred her with a male that has high striping and she already has low striping, there's a chance that you could develop like quad striping, like four stripes on the gecko. And that's a project that you can work. Um, another thing, it's hard to find geckos that have stripes on their tails. And you can see the pigment on her tail beginning to stripe down and curve around. So that's why I do have her listed at 175. She'll be ready to breed. Um, let's see, she was, when was she born here? June. Okay, so she'll be ready to breed by like May to June of next year. Oh, cool female. What if I put a blanket over the sides? Because I see that the light is like coming through and like slants, you know? Yeah. Um, there really isn't many people on Instagram from what I see. So we could just focus on just the YouTube. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate it, hon. I, I, just, I don't want to go through all of that for mm -hmm. for it. It's just like all of these look yellow. Like you can barely see the orange. Right. I agree. I agree. It is not good lighting at all. We'll just That's work better. with it for now. Yeah, That's that better. might that might work a little better. So let's see if this girl is for sale here. Do, 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 do. I think she is for sale. Um, Thelma. We named her Thelma. Maybe because she looked like a Thelma or acted. Born in June again. We have her listed as an emerine, uh, possible tremper, bold. She comes from white and yellow parents, but I do not believe she is white and yellow. Either that or she is a low expression of white and yellow. She's a very big smiley face on the back of her head. You can see that huge smile spanning from one side to the other side. Very nice yellows, oranges, a lot of green because her dad is a fairly green male. Um, born in June, she'll be ready to breed next May to June area. Uh, very heavy pigment on her pattern. Oh, thanks, Kazzy. Yeah, she's a pretty girl. I really wanted to keep, again, all of these I was planning on keeping. That's why they're so big. I was going to grow them up and use them as breeders. But if anyone wants to purchase them, um, I am definitely open to selling them because of all the, the new projects we're working. Um, I do need to be conscientious of space. She has a much calmer demeanor, you can see, than, than uh, the last gecko. Um, so she's pretty cool. Very deep black patterning there. Well, she's awesome. Okay, so. Let's see where we are at here with the animals. Okay, moving right along. Let's go to ZA10. So this one is a white and yellow, guys. Or let me see, do I have them? No, no, sorry. This one's not a white and yellow. But it comes from that the same parents. It comes from a white and yellow parents again, but... I don't believe it's white and yellow, and that's why um, either that or it's very low expression, and that's why I'm just selling it as a non-white and yellow, but I am selling it as emerine because if you want like green hues, uh, yellow, orange, and dark black like spotting, she's the one because she has um, a lot of green undertones to her from her dad. Uh, most geckos will have green undertones on their eyes, like almost every gecko will. But on their body and head is a different story. For that, you really need genetic inheritance. Um, and you can see like in her color palettes, like her color tones, you can see like green undertones on her sides. And again, guys, the way that I describe a gecko to you, I want 
you to be satisfied in that when, when you receive her at your house. So if you need to, I will spend more time with you to describe for you exactly the way she looks, as well as getting you multiple pictures. So you're fully aware of what you're getting before you get it. Uh, she's listed at 200 plus $50 shipping, um, ready to breed next May to June area. And uh, she's listed at that price range because of her green undertones, her bold uh, spotting and pattern. Uh, she has this like dots going down her tail right there. And because she's a little bit older and she'll be ready to breed soon. So all of that in combination gave her her price tag here. And we take really good care, really good health care of all these animals, geckos. Um, you know, we, we promise that they arrive to you alive, safe, healthy, um, you know, and we, we don't, you know, if a health issue was to arise that, you know, we can really derive was from us, then obviously, you know, we would cover you on that. Um, but all of the animals that we sell do have good health, um, from our inspection and we would never sell you an animal that's not healthy. And, uh, we take good care of these guys. So, uh, what did we name her? What was her name here? Oh, Isabel. Nice, pretty name for a nice, pretty girl. We're going to put Isabel away. Okay. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. We got a couple more. And if you have any questions on anything leopard gecko related, just let me know. Uh, you could rewatch the video for geckos that we showed, uh, you know, before you got here. Um, that was Isabel. Was this Isabel? Yeah, Isabel. Okay. So we literally have three more then. There's another one here. So I'm looking on Morph Market, guys. Again, the link is, thanks, Momo. <laughs> the link is in the chat to um, my Morph Market page. Okay, so Mary Kate SM13 is her code. Are you selling Mary Kate? No, it's a different Mary Kate. Um, yeah, we have actually two Mary Kates here, guys, but Oops. Yeah, we got two sisters. They're Mary Kate and Ashley. Actually, yeah, those are the parents that were breeding. Mm -hmm. This might be here. Oh no. This one's not for sale. I believe this is her. I apologize for um, the weight as well. Again, I'm reorganizing all the, the numbers and tags on these guys. Oh, she got a little bit of cocoa, cocoa powder on her. Yeah, so she has this cool like zigzag pattern on the back of her head there. Um, is that her? Yeah, this is her. So this is uh, SM013, and she's a very pretty gecko, you can see. Um, I'm trying to think. Let me think here. Her birthday, June again. No, 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 this isn't, um, sorry, this isn't SM013. This is a different one. I was going to say, this one looks to be a white and yellow. So let me, I, I think I do have this one for sale. It's just a different tag number. Let me look here. There's that one. Or I might not have her for sale. This one might not be for sale, guys. <laughs> Actually, I don't think this one is for sale. Her patterning works the same, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it is. So in person, she looks a little bit like a white and yellow, but because I can't um, prove that, she might be, she's kind of like low to medium expression, 
I don't have her listed online as a white and yellow, um, but she is for sale, right? But she is for sale. So yes. if you like the she way she looks, sale. yeah, she is for sale. Hun, online, this looks the same gecko, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, this is, I just didn't put it online, but this is actually, this one comes from white and yellow parents. And um, what did I list her as? So this one comes from white and yellow parents. I listed her as a possible white and yellow just because she doesn't have as much white as maybe some other white and yellows. But looking at her now, like looking at her a second time, there's a good chance that she is a white and yellow. Um, again, she was a July baby, so she'll be ready for breeding um, around like May to June of next year. She's a pretty girl, healthy, growing well, very high hues of white on her, more than like a normal leopard gecko. So I wouldn't be surprised if she's white and yellow. Um, and they actually might label her as white and yellow because of that. But anyway, if you get a white and yellow, then you get you get a steal. You get a good deal there because uh, white and yellow is just a gene that enhances the yellow and white hues on the gecko. And yeah, she's just a cool looking gecko all around. Very like ghost like because of all that like high white. And she has that zigzag pattern on the back of her neck. So she is tag number online. She's tag number ZA. 011. So she comes from a white and yellow dad and a bold striped mom. And you can see some of the bold striping like going down her tail there. So if you were to breed her with a bold striped male, um, their babies could potentially uh, come out with some bold striping. I took a bold striped male this year to... No, I took a bold striped female to a male that did not have bold striping. And some of the babies, I would say like almost 50% of the babies came out with actual bold striping. So the odds uh, of you actually hitting striping um, is pretty good when the parent, when one of the parents is fully striped. So that's another reason. <laughs> that was a good jump. That's another reason her price tag is where she is, is because she is a jump start to any bold stripe project as well as white and yellow project and just pretty gecko project in general. Uh, thanks, Kazzy. Yeah, they're all really cute. So uh, we'll put her back here. Okay. So this is another female that we have for sale. A little bit darker yellow. So if you like that darker yellow look, she is it. Uh, very nice blue patterning on the eyes. Um, hypomelanistic. You can see she doesn't have too much pattern on her back, but she does have like these dots going down as well as just on one side of her tail, she has black striping going down one side of her tail. Again, she came from a bold striped mom to a tangerine dad. So if you want to know what it looks like when a tangerine goes to a yellow, this is basically it. They'll have hues of both yellow and tangerine displayed in the animal. Um, and she is not white and yellow, this one, but she has this nice, like deep yellow color with some orange pigment to her. Um, her head has some like really cool, wacky, bold patterning. You can see she is number, can you watch her, hun? Mm -hmm. Kind of corral her a little bit. Don't get her number here online. Uh, what number is she? Yeah, she is Lucy. So she's SM017. She was born in August, um, August 6th. So that would put her breedable date around June to July of next year. She'll be able to, um, to breed. Yeah, she's a nice, nice little girl. A little bit touchy. You'll have to spend a little bit more time with her. But again, leopard geckos calm down really fast, you know, so... All right, we're going to put her away and 
we might have one more. Let me see here. Because I'm actually planning on uh, giving a gecko to uh, my one of my nieces over here. So I don't want to sell that one. Let's see. Do, 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 do. So again, guys, all of these geckos are up on Morph Market. Um, I'm going to repost the link on YouTube to Morph Market. There's the link for all the geckos that are for sale. And this one is not for sale, guys, but how can I not show you our new project? So since you guys are here, you guys are the, the faithful few, I will reward you with, uh, oh, you can't even see her on YouTube, huh? But no, you don't know she's there. I don't know she's there. All right, we're going to have to pull her out. You can see on Instagram. Can you? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so this is one of our juvenile black knights. Um, I'm pretty sure you can guess why they are called Black Knight. She's really cool. Um, we do have four adult female Black Knights, two juvenile, well, one juvenile black, black Knight, one baby Black Knight, and then an adult male Black Knight. And so these are the ones, you know, she'll be going into breeding uh, for next year. Um, as long as she ovulates next year, she'll probably be ovulating within the next few months, maybe five, four to five months or so. If she does, we'll pair her. If not, she will be breeding like, you know, the end of next year. Cause a lot of leopard geckos will ovulate. Um, I've gotten a lot of my leopard geckos to ovulate at now a little earlier each year. So the end of November through the beginning of December, I have, uh, quite a few leopard geckos ovulating. I've already bred, um, let's see here. I've already bred seven or eight females this year and it's only December 12th. And I have a few, you know, quite a few more females to go that will be going into ovulation over the next few months. Yeah, thanks, Mar. She is crazy. She is super dark. Um, she is part of our Night Fury project um, that we just bought into where we named it Night Fury. We're working with this Black Knight genetic. And um, what else? Yeah, the dad's name is Toothless. So we could pull the dad out here in a second. Let's pull the dad out. Now, cool thing with the dad, the dad is a pure Black Knight. But we could breed him. And again, all of those females, all of the females that I showed on today's live stream, they could be potential partners for this guy to create like 50% black knights. You know, which is why if those females don't wind up selling, that's okay because we'll, we'll put them into <clears throat> different breedable projects. But here's the dad, here's an adult has this really cool, um, in person, it's like a blackish, charcoalish, like deep brownish color. Um, there's some brown in some of his patterns, black, deep black in a lot of his patterns. It's very like velvety looking, would you say, hon? Yeah, it looks like velvet. Looks like velvet, they're just super cool. Again, this is a project that was developed in the Netherlands um, quite a few years back, maybe 10 to 12 years ago. And they just kept deepening and deepening that line of pigment and black coloration in the gecko until they had this, what, what you see today. And so we're glad to be able to work this project um, along with other breeders that are working this project and just continue to enhance this Night Fury line and make um, a lot of these geckos available for the American market, the American hobbyist that wants to work these because they're a little bit more rare in America right now because they came from Europe. There are more breeders working with the Black Knight um, genetic now. Um, but, you know, 
the really, really good quality ones, like the really dark quality ones, there's few of them out there. So we're happy to be taking on this, this quality dark project and uh, hope to be bringing some reasonably priced black knights with high quality available here to the American hobbyists. So males don't ovulate, obviously. He's already tried to breed with uh, a couple of females, but the females um, over here weren't ready. On day one, when we opened these guys up, he was like jumping into the females' boxes when we had them segregated and like trying to breed with one of them. And so he's really cool. We call him Toothless because he's the male. He's the, st he's the starter male of our Night Fury uh, line here. So I think that's it. Can you think of anything, hon? Here's the cat. The cat's looking at us. She's so sweet. That's it. What do you think, Effie? So what do you guys got? I see there's a few of you still tuned in. I really appreciate you guys being here. Um, if you have any questions for us, please let us know now. Uh, other than that, you know, we'll kind of sign off for today. And, you know, uh, my goal is to do like, more live streams and stuff just to kind of keep you guys up to date with the projects what's going on what we have for sale um just the hobby in general answering people's questions uh new keeper stuff existing keeper stuff so really cool i mean i could look at a black knight all day so let me show let's see can you kind of corral him hun? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's going into shed. So, so since our most orange female is going into shed, I will show our most orange male. Most black male. No, 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 the orange one right here. Oh. Yeah. Again, really hard to see, but he is super orange with some green hues to him. Uh, we're growing him up to get put uh, back into the tangerine breeding collection. Deep carroting of the tail and just really cool contrast. Looks so, like Halloween. It does, yeah. This is Halloween. So if you want an orange gecko, guys, we got you. We got orange geckos. I like to think they're very reasonably priced. Um, a lot of the tangerine geckos, a lot of the tangerine geckos that I have for sale, I'll be honest, uh, some other, you know, uh, price tags that you might see on them might be like $100 more expensive, 50 to 100. So I try to put them within a price range that, you know, is reasonable and fair and also represents the level of quality that you will be getting. Uh, so just hit me up, you know, again, anyone who's watching this stream, just mention that you were here and you can get 10% off uh, any gecko. So put that guy there. Let's see if we can highlight this guy a little bit more. Yeah, see so guys, you can see uh, really a lot of those greens on him. And the the saturation of the orange is not coming through, but I can promise you that he is very orange in person. And he'll be going into our breeding collection, though. He'll, he'll be breeding next year. So if you want tangerine geckos, we got lots of tangerine geckos coming this next year, like some really nice stuff. We have some available right now on Morph Market that we're willing to sell. Some tangerine males, tangerine females, as well as bold stripe or bold pattern um, offspring. White and yellow, bold pattern offspring tangerine offspring um we have one uh normal in there that's just full of dots a tremper albino a regular tremper albino that is small amount of, of tangerine we have some others that are deeper tangerine so if you like the tangerine guys check out the morph market um one more time last time i'll put the link right there and we would put in guys like this into the breeding collection for next year we will be working with Black Knight stuff this coming year as well. Um, so stay tuned for all of that. 
Do you see any questions there or anything, Ruth? Uh -uh. Anything that you want to say, Ruth? Thanks for tuning in. Have Merry Christmas. Okay, yeah. Well, Merry Christmas, guys. We will be here for videos in the near future. We'll be doing more live streams, like I said, to just show you the collection, what's available, answer questions, do topic videos, you know, like how to set up a tub. If you missed my last live stream where we showed the unboxing of these guys, check out that live stream. At the very end of the live stream, it shows how to how we set up one of these tubs you know and kind of like the format if you want to replicate that um you know this is our rack system here you know self-made self-built but it is essentially the same as every rack system it has a 90 degree heat strip at the back we use these 12 quart um sterilite tubs from walmart that are about 250 to three dollars each and that's about it so is that it hun yeah, I think that covers it. Thank you guys so much. I see that quite a few of you guys are here still, and I appreciate that. Um, again, one last time, if you were interested in any of the geckos we showed, Morph Market's link is right there in the chat. Um, hit me up, 10% off for watching this stream, and uh, I'm there to work with you. You know, if you say, hey, Frank, you know, I, I need to make a couple payments or this price is a little high, talk to me, all right? But I appreciate you guys tuning in so much. Um, have a good rest of your weekend. I will be releasing more videos. Let me know any video topics that you want me to do. But the next video topics to come out soon will probably, I'll do an official video on like how to look for ovulation and leopard geckos. Um, I, have a, I currently have a breeding video out there right now for this season of what to expect with breeding. And I show two geckos breeding. And then I will show you a tub on, general husbandry and care of leopard geckos, what they need, you know, 90 degree hotspot, humid hide, water, food, why newspaper can be a better option than sand. We'll talk about all that stuff, but let me know in the comments if there is something that you want me to do a video on specifically or a live stream on. So Merry Christmas to you both. Great show. Thank you. Bye, all your geckos bye. are adorable. We enjoy the show. All right. Well, thanks, Ma. Thanks everybody tuning in. Chameleones, Effie, our little cat that I have to watch because I don't want her to be curiously attacking the geckos. I always got to keep my eye on her. But anyway, love you guys. Thank you very much for your support. And uh, we look forward to our future interactions with you. So peace and we will see you guys next time.